Rapids has a long history of uh, a, making a big impact in mm. public health. Not everyone knows about it, though. An ongoing series at the Grand Rapids Public Museum could help get the word out. Yeah, Brittany Flowers sat down with a professor who has decades of experience studying this topic. Brittany, what did you learn from her? Well, Donovan and Teresa, Grand Valley State University's Carolyn Shapiro Shapin is one of the moderators of tonight's GR Story series at the Grand Rapids Public Museum. She has spent decades studying a medical health history and hopes to help educate people in the community about it. Grand Rapids has been conducting groundbreaking medical research since the early 20th century. One of the most notable ties to the city is the development of the whooping cough vaccine in the 1930s and 40s, developed by Dr. Pearl Kendrick. Grace Eldering and Loney Gordon. Today, Grand Rapids is still a leader in medical research and health with a number of well-known institutions along the medical mile. For the past six months, students at Grand Valley have been studying GRPM collections in other local archives. They'll present that research tonight at the GR Story Series. What makes this project so wonderful is it shows the value of doing history, doing the local history, bringing the stories of Grand Ra what Grand Rapids has done forward encourages students to get involved in the historical process, encourages the community to get involved, because Grand Rapids Stories is a project that brings forward the incredibly rich and diverse history of the city. Tonight's event is sold out, but the panel will be recorded and uploaded to GRPM's website. Shapiro Shapin also expects there to be a public health display at the museum in the future and plans to have the students' research printed and made available to the community. Teresa Donovan.